to give a little bit of background uh, you know i think uh, on the connected tv side uh, while uh, while the buying mechanisms are kind of similar to what happens on in app and desktop uh, on the programmatic side uh, the means of how the transactions or buying happens is slightly different uh, there are multiple kinds of buyers right there are some uh, you know tv buyers who come from the tra traditional tv world uh, they get into the ctv side because that's addressable uh, and you can do some sort of tar targeting which is not possible when you look at linear tv uh, then you have a bunch of advertisers who come from the digital side uh, who now want to start advertising on connected tv as well uh, so so you have two different uh, variety of buyers uh, whose uh, okrs or kpis are very very different uh, anybody who is running ads on linear tv um, what they look at in that kind of uh, advertising is non addressable uh, more upper funnel kind of marketing which basically means have i reached these many number of users how many users am i reaching um, and how many impressions have i served to these users um, and uh, is there any brand of uplift because of the advertising that i've done uh so this is one class of buyers who come on the traditional tv side uh but if you look at the digital form of media which is you know mobile video display video or desktop video uh, their kpis are very very different because uh, a lot of uh, the inventory that i was talking about which is digital is all measurable uh when i say measurable you can start measuring all the way from how many users did i show this ad to how many impressions did that lead to a click did that lead to an outcome an outcome can be you know in store sales footfalls uh, or did that go the guy go and uh, purchase anything on their retail store so all of these are valid metrics and uh, uh, kpis that the the brands can measure so now the ctv is in between both because uh, it's not completely traditional and it's not completely digitized yet um, but more and more advertisers who are running campaigns on connected tv are looking to have their uh, campaigns measured like a digital uh, campaign on video uh, you know as of now people look at completion rates as one of their key metric which is uh, have i shown my ad to the user and has the user actually watched the entire video uh, so that's the primary metric that people use uh, of course the secondary metric and kpi that they look at is um, are these users uh, you know following through with the, the transaction that they want to and that could be an in store uh, purchase or it could be a footfall to their store uh, and depending on the brand that advertise they also look at measuring that uh, but the technology has not completely gone to supporting you know the closed loop measurement optimization and attribution use cases yet on the connected tv side transparency is is is, is really important when it uh, comes to connected tv uh because uh, connected tv inventory comes at a pretty high price um and uh, any buyer who is looking to buy connected tv inventory uh, needs to uh, definitely understand where their impressions are going so when i say impressions uh, in the programmatic ecosystem uh, you need to understand if i am actually delivering these impressions to uh, a particular user who is looking at content on roku tv uh you cannot not show this information so there are two kinds of transparencies in the programmatic or the ad ecosystem one is price transparency which is am i paying what am i paying uh, and how much uh, uh how much is that impression worth uh if i am paying 25 dollars for 1000 impressions uh is that worth that 25 dollars that transparency and who is taking that uh, is it all going to the publisher is it going to an exchange in between that's that's one kind of transparency the second kind of transparency which is most important is uh, where am i showing these ads like am i actually showing this on uh, on applications that i intend to show uh, which is which is where uh, you know a lot of the digital ecosystem has evolved currently uh, when you look at mobile you can actually know through partners uh, i mean there are multiple verification vendors who actually say this impression was served on this particular application and the user actually saw the entire video uh and that is uh, extremely important now when it comes to connected tv uh because the connected tv ecosystem uh, you you have limited supply which means that uh the number of applications which enable you to uh, run 
advertising video on demand, which is where advertising happens, uh, is is far and few, right? It's not like mobile apps where there are thirty thousand different applications to advertise. Uh, you possibly have about hundred Roku apps where you run advertising in the CTV world. When it comes to linear digital, uh, you have multiple channels where you advertise. So it's it's important to uh, let advertisers know that their particular impression was shown on this particular channel uh, and was viewed by these users. So so that kind of transparency uh, is very important and that's where the industry is moving towards. Uh, it is currently not there yet. Uh, but but uh, as as in when you know the connected TV ecosystems becomes more digital in nature, uh, these sorts of uh, you know verification measurement capabilities are going to come into the picture, which makes uh, you know the buying more transparent. Um, so so like to summarize, there are two kinds of transparencies: price transparencies and a transparency about where my advertising is going. Uh, when it comes to the latter, we are we are getting there. Uh, it's not there yet. Uh, of course, when it comes to programmatic price transparency, is is, is there already? Uh, and when you when I talk about price transparency uh, in the ecosystem, most of the buying for connected TV happens uh, uh, in what we call is you know private marketplaces. Uh, the inventory is not put up on open market. Uh, it is not traded uh, in in the open market. So. Usually, buyers strike deals with publishers or deal, strike deals with vendors who work with publishers, the big media companies, and then they negotiate what the price is for that inventory. So that way, you understand on the buyer is knowing what he's paying for. Uh, but when there are middlemen in the picture, you need to really know what uh, they are doing, what is the value they are adding, and also uh, where these ads are getting placed. Uh, so it is very important, and uh, we have to get there. Uh, when it comes to uh, understanding exactly where each of these advertisements are being placed and uh, have they been completely viewed by users uh, or is just uh, you know just just numbers that are showing without actual users watching the the ads in both app ecosystem as well as uh, you know connected tv ecosystem where uh, inmobi uh, primarily works in uh, we work with double verify as one of our partners to, to do uh, all of our, uh, you know, fraud checks, uh, what we call as IVT, uh, which primarily helps in understanding if the inventory that we are passing to them is completely transparent and fraud-free. Uh, while this is an evolved ecosystem in the app and desktop space, connected TV is is still uh, pretty new, and uh, the reason why it's uh, difficult, different, and new and nuanced in connected TV is because. Uh, because in the way in which the entire uh, uh, you know programmatic advertising happens on on advanced tv or connected tv uh, there are no sdks that, which means there are no software development kits which are present within a roku tv to to let any measurement companies decide if the user is actually watching it um, all of this happens outside of the tv ecosystem uh, or the tv box itself uh, an ad is uh, requested outside of the tv uh, an ad is rendered on the TV, uh, and the rendering is something that uh, is controlled by the operating systems, the likes of Roku, Apple TV, or or Android, or even you know the Samsungs of the world. Uh, so it's extremely important for these operating systems to uh, you know open up certain uh, I mean capabilities for companies like us uh, to get in there and then understand uh, the efficacy of these ads. Are they even going there? Uh, are they not? Otherwise, everything that happens is going to be uh, on outside. Is we call it server side. Uh, for example, uh, you know most of the ads are inserted on the server side. They don't even uh, you know get shown on the client. They get merged into the content and then gets uh, relayed back uh, from to the TV. So in such a system where you know ad requests are getting generated outside the TV space, which is outside. The client, what we call server side, and ads are getting inserted uh, using that mechanism. Uh, it becomes very hard to actually know if the user actually what watched that particular ad or not. Now, uh, to solve for that, we definitely need uh, you know a lot of companies to come together as well as advancements uh, with the operating systems itself. Uh, you know, a, a comparison here would be if you look at an uh, 
Apple or Android phone, um, the ad is rendered by 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 the developer and SDKs which are sitting within the developer. Uh, but when it comes to connected TV, that's not the case. It's all controlled by the operating systems, uh, and any player uh, is only talking to uh, the operating systems uh, via certain tags. Uh, right, and and that uh, that is a big gap there, and we don't know what is exactly happening on the system. Is the ad being shown? Is it being rendered? The user watch it. How long did he watch it? All of these are uh, things that are derived but not actually seen. Uh, so that's that's where we need uh, you know more advancements in technology, which is going to help uh, you know measure these advertisements better, uh, and of course that's going to help in uh, the entire supply chain as well.